A lot of people have heard that Macs are more secure than Windows, and here's one of the reasons why. There's no secret that Windows PCs have a lot of problem with viruses and with all sorts of malware and Trojanware and all sorts of bad programs. And a lot of people have heard that Macs have fewer problems. In fact, some people even claim that Macs never have problems. Well, the truth is Macs sometimes have problems, but it's a lot less often. And here's one of the reasons why. I'm gonna put a screen picture right over here. And it essentially is what you see in the control panel equivalent. They call it the settings or the preferences section on a, on a, uh, on a Mac. One of the areas under the security section is a prompt essentially that gives you an either of two choices. Now I want you to see what the two choices are. The first choice there says allow apps downloaded from, and you have two choices. First choice, app store. First choice. Second choice, app store and identified developers. Let's put this into perspective. If you were the typical Mac user, your default setting is actually going to be the top one, which is to say app store, which basically means that a Mac owner is initially restricted, which may sound bad, but restricted to only being able to run programs that they purchased from, or if they were free, from the Apple Mac App Store, which basically means they have an app store. Just like if you're not familiar with apples, you go to an app store on your iPhone and every app in there has been scrutinized and, and checked out before Apple essentially puts them in the store. So nothing you'll ever download on your iPhone is gonna harm your iPhone. And that's why you don't have to have an antivirus on an iPhone, but you do need an antivirus on an Android phone because they don't have the equivalent. Well, Apple did the same thing with the app store. They essentially closed the door by default to the typical homeowner, or homeowner, the typical uh, home user who uses their Mac and really only wants to get software that's trusted. So they get it from the App Store. Now the second option, which is, it says App Store and identified developers. Well, what Apple does there is they have essentially a whitelist of manufacturers that they recognize. They recognize Adobe, they recognize uh, app, that's not Apple, they recognize Microsoft, they recognize a lot of large Intuit, for example. They have a, essentially a white list of companies that they know that they could trust. And if your software is coming from either the App Store or a, a, a trusted uh, company, you can run it. Now, what I'd like to say in today's idea of the day is I would love, absolutely love to see an option like this in the Windows world. I know it put a restriction on a lot of people in certain ways, but you do have the ability to uh, at least have some sort of overrides, and they do have overrides on the Mac, but at least when you see something that says, hey, this is not a trusted uh, 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 publisher, it would warn them in a way that they're more aware of it. So if someone on a Mac, for example, has that second option that allows identified developers, and they do go to a site where they download something that's not, they have to actually go out of their way to figure out how to install a program that's not from a trusted developer, and that creates an additional barrier, which to some might be, you know, big brotherish, but it really does protect a lot of people, because if they have to go and ask a tech guy, how do I install this program uh, and bypass this thing here, uh, then at that point, um, they are actually a lot more secure, because more often than not, they'll take the path of least resistance. They will actually roll back and not install the program. And that keeps the Macs a lot safer. And I wish they did the same thing under Windows. And that's today's idea of the day. All right, so that's today's idea of the day. I uh, hope you liked it. If you visit ideatoday.com, you'll see a new one every day, every day. Yeah, some of them don't suck. And, and don't forget to subscribe. And you can see them here every day, brand new one. And, and some of my videos don't suck either.